Nice to meet you. I'm Saima Sarah and welcome to my very first episode. Today, we are going to talk about how mobile is the new target. If you're like me, your phone is probably like your best friend. It's always around you and you can't imagine life without it. And just like your BFF, it knows a lot about you. as all your photos, chats, emails, shopping history, and more. My phone even knows what I ate last night. I'll be sharing some tips and explaining how you can prevent hackers from gaining access to your BFF and all your personal information. First things first, have you ever switched from mobile data to a public Wi-Fi while you were outside? I'm guilty of this. I mean, it's convenient and free. And what's the worst that could happen? Well, most public Wi-Fi networks are unsecured. And when you use unsecured networks, hackers can view everything you send out to them. This could include confidential information like your passwords, credit card information, and so on. They can even log into your accounts or infect your device with malware later on after you've logged off from the Wi-Fi network. This is because hackers have an easier time accessing devices that are connected to unsecured, open Wi-Fi networks. The best way to prevent this is simply to avoid using unsecured public Wi-Fi networks and depend on mobile data instead, especially when you're making financial transactions. It might be a bit more expensive than free Wi-Fi, but it's still cheaper than having a hacker steal your credit card details. Another question for you. You probably have a lot of apps on your phone, but how many do you actually use on a regular basis? I ask because many people are unaware that their apps can collect data and information to track them. even if they barely use or even open the apps. Remember those long and pesky terms and conditions that you didn't read when you installed an app? If you're not careful, you might have agreed to give away your data without even realizing it. This sort of information can be sold to advertisers, which is why you sometimes see ads on your Instagram feed for things that you've just Googled. To minimize your exposure to data tracking, it's a good habit to go over all your apps every few months and remove those that you don't use regularly. You should also pay more attention to the access permissions requested by an app. For example, does it ask for access to your microphone, camera and location, or does it require you to save your email address or credit card details? If you're uncomfortable with giving an app too much access to your private information, you can always manually restrict this by going to your security and privacy settings. Otherwise, simply uninstall the app. Up to now, I've been telling you what not to do with your phone. I'll leave you with one simple thing you can do to better protect yourself. Enable auto updates. By doing so, you can be sure that your phone and your apps will always get the latest software updates and protections. That way, you're adding one extra layer of defense against hackers and malware. And that's all the tips I have for you today. Don't let your phone become an easy target. Be sure to use our tips to stay safe. Follow CSA Singapore for more information and I'll see you next time.